Hello everyone, I'm TG and welcome back to the House of Sleaze. Today I'm taking a look at a pretty interesting Spencer build. Think of it almost like a super spam Spencer, but guns. And that's what's really interesting about Spencer these days, is you can run super spam creatures, super spam guns, and even super spam traps if you really wanted to. So without further ado, let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So to start things off with, I'm actually not using Generator. I'm going to switch that for Refract, because Refract, even after the nerf, is still the best chance of taking survivors down. Next I'm using Mod Efficiency, which reduces the cost of mods by 3 and gives me the E-Mag Shield every time I use a mod. It's very important because we're using a lot of mods in this deck. And lastly I'm going for Battery, which is going to give me 20 Bio Energy. Now when it comes to his exclusive cards, we're going to go for 2 mods, because we're not going to need Invulnerability Anchor as we're not using creatures, and we're not going to use Hypercharge because it doesn't really mesh well whenever you're using guns. These mods are really just in our hands to make sure we have some bio energy recharging all the time. And Overcharge mod has that added benefit of giving you increased bio energy recharge whenever you have 6 or more units of bio energy, which you definitely will in Area 3. So let's take a look at his equipment. It's a pretty standard gun layout. We're going for Modified Gear 3, Reinforced Bearing, Large Caliber Barrel 3, and Water Cooled Radiator. This is going to make it so you can jump in and out of your guns lickety split, you can move non-stop and you're going to do some extra damage and also if they do end up taking your cameras down you're going to be back up right away so let's take a look at his deck and when it comes to gun decks this is the standard of the standard there's nothing crazy about this deck it's really just very straightforward we're using three mods efficiency mod firearms converter mod firearms and generator mod small we're also using every gun that we can except for a turret and then lastly, we're using the lake hole trap and the air burst trap just for a little bit more crowd control. So one important thing I want to mention before we see this build in action is how converter mods work in relation to Spencer's mod efficiency. Mod efficiency reduces the cost of mod cards by three. So that goes for every single mod card, including the converter mods. So instead of starting at 18, you're actually only going to start at 15, which means you only need to use 15 guns and you can get a one cost grenade launcher. However, Spencer has so much bio energy, you're gonna end up using this converter mod pretty much anytime you feel like it. I typically use it whenever it has about six left. So that's the build, and now we're gonna check out a match I played earlier using it, and man, I felt like a real asshole this time around. Enjoy. Hmm, pretty high level team here, and no January, baby. Everything's coming up Spencer. I will undo this unjust travesty done to me by time, and I will rule... So, since I'm not using recharge, don't really have to hop around too much. And in case you're wondering, I am using what I like to call my utility preset, which is basically infection and traps. Use it a lot for Nikolai and Spencer. That is the sound of another path closing for you. Come on in, kids. You gonna mop me? I think not. Oh, did they not get any shotguns? That's that's good for me. Oh, oh, Sammy. Breathing quickens. The virus stirs inside you. It happens. Don't worry. Oh, first aid spray. It's good that they used that early. Oh, come on this way. Oh no! Didn't arm in time. Go ahead, take it. I'll see if we can lure Martin out here. Excellent. A modest success for you. I would not be too pleased with yourself. Well, five minutes, so that's a wash. But you know what? It's downtown, so I consider five minutes in downtown for area one pretty impressive. I'm happy with that. So what I actually like about this build is contrary to a lot of the builds that I do, where they're area two heavy or area three heavy, or sometimes, you know, right off the bat, 
you know, you go all in. This one is more consistent. So pretty much from area one to area three, your game strategy is the same. And usually I find that a little bit boring, but when it comes to guns, there's just there's so much input. You're always, you know, staying on top of everything. You're in the fray. So I find it to be quite a lot of fun, actually. And also, a lot of builds lack, you know, a killing blow. But most gun builds, you can really lock them down anytime using any gun. So you're not waiting for, you know, your bio weapon. You're not waiting for a certain creature or infection, what have you. You can really just always take them down and you can always defend your kill. So let's see if we can get some sharp shooting here. No. That's typical TG Widow aiming. Oh, so Martin got a shotgun, okay. So we're just gonna stay away from him. And we got our D field, so we're gonna wait until they're grouped up and try to get all of them. But knowing me, I won't even get one. Oh man, that's annoying. Oh shit, did I not switch that to refract? Well then. Alright Martin, everybody gets one. Well, I'm afraid this is taking a turn for the worst. Okay. Time to really buckle down, I think. There is more testing to be done. All right, we can handle this. Ooh, just in the nick of time. I savor the taste of stolen hope. Oh, Martin, doesn't work that way. Shotguns, on the other hand, they do work that way. Well, if all goes well, since I'm using generator, I should get another D field. Ah, there we go. Yeah, go for it, Jill. Go ahead. You buffoon. You know, every time I play against the Jill, I always just get that feeling that they think they're hot shit. <laughs> it's usually when they're wearing the sunglasses. There we go. That's more like it. I probably should have triggered that trap. Oh, and I let them res- Jeez, I am just not on my game today. Well then. Good things usually come in three. In your case. Oh, I think it's enough fucking around now. Gotta put my game face on. Ah, would have been nice to get Sam there. But I'll take one. Nice try, you little monkey. But for healing. How many times are you going to step in the same leg trap? Oh, Valerie. Okay, I made up a little bit of time there. 
Still not exactly where I'd like to be. But as Athene says, it's time to go Berserk's mode. Don't know if any of you guys remember that reference. I'm old. So you see, the real weakness of this build, aside from January's, of course, is my own lack of ability to aim. I have more traps. So <laughs> if you can get good at aiming, um, using a controller, of course, as I do, you can really, really devastate them. Now, if I was using a mouse and keyboard, like uh, on the PC, it'd be a little bit different. I'd probably still be junk, but at least, you know, I wouldn't have an excuse. What I love about this build is it just gives you the ability to waste the resources on cameras because you can just use your mods. And there you go, full camera yet again. And I'm gonna lose this camera, but I'm going down swinging. Oh, I didn't. Melee Valerie in the Lake Old Trap again. Okay, now is the time. Let the D field shine. Your heart beats faster. Your breathing begins. The virus stirs inside. Now come on, if we can get Sam again, perfect. See, unfortunately for Martin, uh, you can still see the names above players whenever he uses his shockwave. Now poor Sam is just not getting up. I won't have it. Ah, I was kind of hoping for a rifle, but I guess they're getting away. I might actually mess around with this deck and actually use a turret. I don't like to use turrets anymore for obvious reasons, but I think the traps are actually not really necessary for this build. So I might switch to something like a quick draw or a clone. I do always like to have an airburst trap though. Was that the hot dogger? Oh, Jill. I bet you're feeling regretful about your choice there. Brain power. What? Looks like he's a mixtape, Martin. Now, think about Shockwave that bothers me. It's nothing about what the ability does, it's fine. It just bothers me when things don't make any fucking sense. Because if you use Shockwave, and I'm on a camera across the map, it's blinded. Doesn't make any sense. Who knows, though. Martin's a genius. He just found a way to get his light to penetrate solid matter. Ah, yes. Dogs, not so bad anymore. Oh, I don't think so. Damn it. You know what? That just pissed me off, so... But, that is that. So that's what I like to call Gun Mod Spencer. Overall, I just think the deck needs a little bit more refinement, and then you'll be good to go. So, as always, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do. If not, eh. Keep it sleazy.